man is speaking out tonight after calling 911 on behalf of a teenage girl who police say bravely swam across a lake to escape captivity. Quiet around here usually. That was until Tuesday when the man you see here who asked we hide his identity left work because he forgot something at his isolated Grant County home. From hundreds of yards away, he thought he saw a deer. She was up so I could see her, but I couldn't tell what it was. He says he started his truck to drive towards her when suddenly she came running. When she came walking out of the grass, I went, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. It was Jasmine Block, the 15-year-old girl who disappeared weeks earlier. It was great. It was just a great feeling, and I get in the pickup. We're going to help you now. How long had you been alone when you took off running? How long had they they left left mm -hmm. you alone to go get I'd food and drugs? I'd say maybe like five minutes. They're gone. At what moment did you decide this is it? This is the moment I'm going. I just had faith in myself, but. I would find someone to save my life and get me reconnected with my family. Okay, so you run to the lake and that's how far from the truck? Was it like a football field long or? It was a big lake, like it was long this way and that way. So you take off your shoes and your pajama bottoms. Yeah. So you're in? A shirt and boxers. Are you a good swimmer? No. You became a good swimmer <laughs> yeah. that day. Yeah, at that time I had the fear of drowning because a little bit before that my friend drowned. And they tried to drown you several times, so, but you just take off swimming. Yeah, I had the courage because before all this happened, my best friend died Then the day after that. My dad died a couple weeks after that. Um, my sister's friend died. So I had the faith that they all would help me, and I was praying to God. How far did you swim? I don't remember how far it was, but I think a couple miles, I think someone said. I'm not sure. Is this where the path was behind? Yeah. OK. And so you ran from behind this second location mm -hmm. to this lake and swam across, and when you got to the grass there, you ran to the road, and that's where you mm -hmm. were picked but, up like, by the man. When I got on the grass, there were some trees, but I ducked because I thought I saw Thomas's car. Right. But it wasn't him, so then I just darted across from the road. Now, the man that picked you up was who? Earl. Earl, yeah. okay, and when you were in his car, did you see them go by? Yeah. Um, at the time, all the police were there and the ambulance and stuff. I was actually in the police car, I do believe. And then I pointed to the car and was like, that's them. Oh, you pointed them out? Mm -hmm. When it, Did they go chase them down? Yeah. So tell me what it was like after 29 days, they've tried to drown you, they've tried to suffocate you, they've tried to hang you. They've sexually assaulted you. You've fought for your life, swam for your freedom. When you finally see your mother again, when you finally see your sisters again, what was that like?